Yo guys, what's good? B Jones here, back with another video for you guys. Another more, you know, Infotech. And basically, this is an update to the last two tech videos I did about the PS5 and basically the two different capture cards you can use. And well, today's video, basically, as you've seen in the title, I have found a way, basically, if you have the party link and the 4K60 Pro, you can use the party link with that. You're like, how? There's no audio ports, but your computer has something that can help you out so make sure you guys drop a thumbs up on this video i almost said like you guys can like the video make sure you subscribe to the channel and um yeah let's get into it and i'll show you just how this works okay so basically i'm gonna show you my setup here don't worry about all my wires it's messy still the same we have the ps5 here and i already have my 4k elgato hooked up into my computer and i already have everything hooked up so i'm just basically going to show you guys i'm gonna unplug everything and tell you how it goes just in case you don't know how to go Basically, you're going to take your HDMI from your PlayStation, and you're going to plug that. I don't know which one it was. You're going to plug the, from the PlayStation into the capture card to the end slot. And then you're going to take your other HDMI cord to your monitor, your TV, or whatever. You're going to put that in the out, and it connects. I promise you, just follow the wires up to here to the back of my monitor. So now you're like, okay, so as you can see here, I have the old Elgato, which had the in port audio port and basically you guys are like well how am i going to use my party chat and here is the method that i have found that works so basically i have my party you can't really see but it's plugged in over there to my controller this is the single end of the party chat and basically all you want to do is on the back of your computer not all computers not all motherboards have these but i should say about 80 percent 90 percent do you see these three little holes right here? The one on the left is the microphone port. You can't really see the one in the middle because the flash, but it says line out and this very bright one, the blue one says line in. So what we wanna do is we wanna take this and we wanna plug that into there. The reason we wanna do that is basically the line in means you're telling your computer, hey, where audio is being put in here, you should record it or do something with it. So with that said, chat, we're gonna hop on over back to OBS. Okay, so now we are back. I am on my computer. And basically, if you have never set this up before and this is your first time setting up, this is what you're gonna do. Most people use OBS or Streamlabs OBS. I prefer OBS for when I stream. I stream to Facebook. Make sure you guys go follow me over there. Oh, whoa, we don't want this. Cause that's not supposed to be on screen capture. Guys just took you guys on a trip real quick. Okay, and anyways, here we go. This is what you should. This is what it looks like when I pull up my OBS. These are my little overlays, whatever, whatever. Whoa, I'm moving stuff around. I shouldn't be. I was trying to get that out the way, but anyways, as you can see, my PS5 is already showing up properly. But basically, I'm gonna make a new scene. Like I said, I'm gonna act like this is nobody's ever set up before. So basically, you won't have any scenes. You're gonna make a new scene. And I'll just call this PS5 4K Setup. So basically, as you can see, we make a new scene and we have no sources. So the first source you want to add is your video capture device. And what your video capture device is, usually you guys will hit create new. Me, it's exist, add existing, and it's my 4K 60 Pro MK2. I named it that and boom, it pops up. Um, one thing you also have to make sure you do, if you haven't done it already, when you start your PS5 up, before you plug it in, you have to go to your settings, and you have to, as soon as my controller turns on, you have to go over here to this, and go to system, and go to HDMI, and you have to disable this. By default, this will be to the right, and basically, when this is turned on, it means high, high definition content protection, or something like that, basically saying, hey... He's not gonna, you know, steal anybody's videos or musics or shows or anything. But when you turn it off, it limits you. You can't watch Netflix and stuff like that. So basically, when you're not streaming or not using it, you can turn it back on or whenever you want to do whatever you do media wise. Me, my PlayStation is strictly for streaming. So this will always stay off. And like I said, most people that it only makes a difference if you try to go to like, if you try to go to the media and you want, you can't start any media apps with it turned off basically. So with that said, now we're back to how do you set this up? So as you guys can see, I just have the 4K video. And as you can see, there's no audio. You're like, oh, well, there's there's no audio. There should be some audio somewhere, right? Well, 
No, uh, uh, yes and no. So this is where it gets a little complicated. Usually, I'll go into my properties, and of course, once again, my stuff is automatically already adjusted for this. But basically, this is what it will be like in your properties. It will be audio. You want to go down to the audio mode, and you it's usually on capture audio only. And usually, that's when you do something. You'll hear stuff, and it'll pop up on the sliders, all that. But what you actually want to do is with that party chat plugged in. I don't know why I opened that up. I always open the wrong thing up. You want to go to here and you want to do use custom audio device and you want to do the line in because remember we just plugged that into the line in and basically saying, hey, use the audio device that's coming from that cord. So basically now when I plug this in to the controller, you guys all know how the PlayStation is weird. It goes from freaking HDMI audio to analog audio when you plug a headphone in. So basically when I plug this in, You'll see it switch over. And as you see, I'll hit OK. And what you need to do then is you need to add a audio uh, input capture, I believe. Yes. And you're going to you can name it whatever you want. For me, I just named it the audio line in so I don't get things confused. And as you can see, it pops up a audio, a new audio thing in your mixer and you can hear it. Like I said, if you plug in your headphones, uh, you'll be able to hear and talk just as if you were using your party chat link with your HD 60 Pro. So hopefully this video helped you guys. Um, I don't know why my camera got, I mean, my light just got darker on its own and my green screen was flipping out. But yeah, hopefully this helped you out. If you have any questions, you guys can hit me up on Twitter, leave comment, just just ask me guy i know a lot of stuff i'm figuring more out and i know a lot of people have not put out this content i have not I, it took me figuring this out i've never i've not seen one video on youtube like this that's explaining to people oh you can actually use the party chat link if you have the 4k 60 pro see me i was going back and forth like when i played a story game i would just use the 4k 60 pro but when i played multiplayer i was stuck in playing 1080 now i'm stuck forever playing 4k and i can chat to my friends and the stream can always hear it so that was a self little thing I think I figured out and hopefully I can't give credit to anybody. So hopefully you guys can help. I can help you guys out and you guys can give some credit to me. So once again, B Jones, I'm out of here. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the page and make sure you guys follow me over on Facebook where we stream almost daily, pretty much daily at this point, I'd say. Yeah, lots of Warzone, Apex, Cyberpunk, all types of content, man. So make sure you guys uh, do that for me. And until next time, I'll catch you on the next video. I'm out. Peace.